Hello everybody and welcome to another Golden Shot Guide, this time for medium version here in Gold Clash the game. Before we take a look at what hole to play, make sure that you do hit that thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. You can get the best guides on the market for tour play and tournament play by going to patreon.com slash goldclashtommy. Do like more than 2000 other players has been doing and subscribe to a package there. Link is directly in the description down below. In this golden shot, we will be playing hole number two, I think it is, yeah, hole number two of the Sakura Hills. This is a uh, uh, hole that we have been playing many times before, but this time I've been playing this one a lot this morning when making the guide to just update the spins to be, you know, a little bit better than they were before. So the spins has changed since the latest guide for this one here, which we have in the late May. 2021 so make sure that you do get this guy that we do have here for the best possible outcome we're gonna play with the golden long iron max plus 20 all the time doesn't matter what uh, wind direction and what wind strength we're gonna have that's gonna be our adjustment onyx chest for the hole in one we do have a fire chest for the yellow ring we do have scarlet chest for the red ring then we do have topaz chest for the light blue ring and then we do have azure chest for the dark blue ring and uh, this time you can win kingmakers you can only win berserkers in the hard version of the golden shot and in medium it's always kingmakers press the question mark on the top right if you have more questions about the golden shot you can also press the button contact us and send in a ticket to the gold clash support if you experience any issues or you just have more questions all right let's take a look at the landing position that hasn't changed since before we're gonna do a, a blue ring or not a but the blue ring to the left by the sand trap line and also the top of the blue ring by the start of the fringe doesn't matter if you set that position before you have added spin or after you have added spin because our only focus will be the blue ring when to get the correct position Let's take a look at the shots here and we start off with shot number one. Uh, three and a half uh, when it comes to uh, side spin, uh, not side spin, but crosswind and headwind. <laughs> All right, so two and a half for backspin and I'm going with 0 0.4 bars of left spin. Three and a half miles per hour is 2.3 rings and we are always going to pull over the bullseye. So you can see there with the, the white ball that you can see on the take shot button, that's the one that I'm using. So I'm putting my mark at the point three into the red ring and then I adjust to outside yellow, which gives me a total of 2.3 rings. Center the ball is very important. I cannot stress that enough because if you do have the ball a little bit more to the left or a little bit more to the right or up or down, you're obviously gonna have either curl or under slash overpower on your shot and that will, trust me, that will change the outcome. So it's not just to hit perfect here. You really need to do everything to get the best possible outcome uh, of your shot. We got some kingmakers staying close. We missed just to the left. So we need to tweak that obviously, which we will be doing. Blue ring again uh, by sand trap line, also top of the fringe. And uh, then we're gonna apply spin, 2.2 backspin. And I'm using a little bit of a right spin, not much at all, just like a click. Just because we do have not so much um, wind coming, what can I say, from the right. Um, looking at the result here in the end, obviously that's going to be a little bit too much. Uh, sorry, a little bit too little. Uh, 4.6 miles per hour is uh, 3 rings. Again, center the ball properly. Make sure that you not have any accidental overpower, underpower or curl. Bounces nicely on the fairway and then we roll and we have perfect speed but again we're missing to the left. So here we would definitely need a couple of clicks more right spin. We did get the Azure chest which uh, you know obviously is okay. We are obviously looking to get the hole in one as many times we can but if not then we want to stay as close as possible to at least get the red ring um, with a perfect ball. 4.6 miles per hour, it's more a direct tailwind than it is a tailwind and crosswind. Um, and we go 3.2 bars of backspin, and I'm using, you know, 0 0.3 left spin approximately to that. 4.6 miles per hour is three rings, and once again, we will be pulling over the bullseye to get our three rings. 
Center the ball once again, very important, and then hit perfect, and you will have a good chance getting this ball to drop. Perfect ball. Here we go. Bounces on the fairway, getting it down towards the pin, and we just once again burn the left edge. Now we roll just into the red ring, which is fine when we do have a close miss like that, but coming in maybe a smidge too hot. But definitely the side spin was a little bit too much in that case also. Now, moving on, we have two more shots to take a look at, and we do now have a northwest wind. So we have a crosswind tailwind coming right to left. Blue ring by sand trap line, blue ring by the start of the fringe, and then we will apply uh, backspin. 3.2 backspin, and with this wind here, I'm using a 0 0.7 right spin. 4.1 miles per hour is 2.7 rings. Again, pulling over the bullseye. Press take shot button and attempt to hit perfect with a centered ball. Perfect ball. Bounces nicely on the fairway. We like when it turns like this and we roll and we roll and beautiful hole in one here with right at pin. Then we got the correct side spin. We got the correct back spin after a little tweaking here and there. So Onyx chest, let's see what we do get um, then just Kingmakers. So Guardian and then we do have the Kingmaker here in the end. So obviously I don't need any Kingmakers on this account, but Kingmakers is super valuable nowadays in my opinion. All right, blue ring by Sandtrap line, blue ring by the fringe line. And we do have a wind coming right to left with headwind. So I'm going to play 2.6 backspin and we're going to play 0 0.5 bars of side spin to the right. 3.6 miles per hour is 2.4 rings. And once again, we will be pulling over the bullseye. There we go. Center the ball, very important. Take your time if you have the time, we'll say. The golden shot clock is going quick. And uh, we do hit perfect, it bounces nicely on the fairway. Turns around, now we know it's gonna be close. And we get that one to just, uh, you know, a swirly in, so to speak. Which is always lovely when that goes in our favor, not in the favor of the game by, you know, doing a 360 out. Which we all have had happen many times before. So, the Grim Reaper, the yuck, and Kingmaker Balls, there would you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the text guide made by Tony Richardson. Uh, make sure to subscribe to his channel, link is directly in the description down below. Landing position, top of the blue ring by fringe, left of the blue ring by the sand, in all wind strength and directions. Then we do have the spin, direct tailwind, 3.6 backspin, 0.2 left spin. Wind coming left to right with tailwind, 3.3 backspin, 0.4 left spin. 3.3 backspin and 0.6 right spin with wind coming right to left in tailwind. Wind coming left to right in direct crosswind, we have 3 backspin, 0.6 left spin, wind coming right to left with uh, uh, crosswind, coming uh, 3 backspin, 0.6 right side spin. Wind coming left to right with headwind, 2.6 backspin, 0.3 left spin. Wind coming right to left with headwind, 2.6 backspin and 0.4 right side spin. Direct headwind, 2.2. Backspin VPR you have on the right side of uh, the uh, text guide as always and we play max plus 20. The text guide can be found in the description down below. You can also find it for free on golfclashtommy.com and in various Golf Clash community. In the end though, I want to say thank you so much for watching and listening to me and I hope you will do well in the golden shot. Make sure that you do comment in the comment section below and let me know how it went for you. Once again, much love, thank you so much and good luck in your Golf Clash game.